welcome everybody. We're going to start from lying down. So do lay down and make yourself comfy. Last week's practice was about birds, so I thought it would be very nice to follow on this week with a practice about trees. Spring is coming and the trees are looking so lovely. And the element for spring is the wood elements. And that's all about new growth, new shoots, new beginnings, new hope fresh green growth. So come and lie down and get comfortable. We'll take a few minutes to arrive. Take a few breaths and slowly let the day go. And when you're settled, look inside. Have a look at that inner landscape. What's happening in there? Are there any places that feel particularly good? What do they feel like? Are they still or do they move around? Can you put a shape or a colour to them? What effect does the breath have on them? And equally anywhere that's not looking so great. Just view without getting involved. How that looks today. Is there a shape to these places, a colour? And then your breath, your natural breath. And don't try to change anything. The in breath, the out breath, those pauses between the breath. Simply notice what's happening right now. And start to slow down the breath, slow down your thoughts. Simply being present in this body breathing for this practice. And slowly bringing yourself back, taking a check through how you're feeling. And there are a few postures on the mat now. So lying on the mat, and hope you've got room to breathe in and take your arms behind you, let them float behind you and stretch through your fingers, point your toes. And as you inhale, bring the arms down, curl the toes up to say hi. Keep the knees soft. Let's do four more. The in-breath, a lovely big stretch, fingers to toes, keep the shoulders soft and breathe out completely, stretch through the back of the legs. That's it, breathe well, breath and movement combines. The space you're making through the sides of the body today. And one more nice, big, deep, energizing breath. Big stretch there. Relax the arms down. Well done. Gather your knees in. Either hold the top of the knees or underneath and we can circle here, we can give the back a little massage. 
and start to feel the circle in your low back. And as you make the circles bigger, slightly smaller circle, mid to upper back. And go the other way. So really feel you get into any of those tight, icky bits there. Anywhere that's a bit stark, a bit tight. That needs unravelling. Brilliant. And then just going to hug the right knee in and stretch the left leg out. Make that left leg beautifully active. Keep the knee soft, draw up through the thigh, flex both feet and a little bit of pressure on the right shin as you draw the knee in towards the armpit. Breathe well. So lengthening that left leg out of the hip, pushing away through the ball of the foot, through the heel. The knee soft, you're drawing up through the thigh. If you want to make it a bit juicier, lift the leg off slightly and hover it. Just a couple of inches, a few centimetres above the arm. Keep the tummy nice and firm. Keep drawing left knee in towards the armpit, towards the back wall. Sorry, the right knee in. Release the left leg. Release the left arm and a big stretch all the way through the left side. And release the left arm. Put the right foot on the mat and I hope you can see this. I'm just going to come over to the left side a wee bit and open up the right leg. So I'm going to lay down tree. A laying down tree, just lay this way so you can you can see a moment. Laying down tree, Sutta Vikasana. Take a moment with your hands on your hips and ease them out, even them off and encourage that inner thigh, that inner knee to open. Just like you were standing up in a tree, in a standing tree balance. Be active, flex the foot. Feel the breath in your tummy. So wood is very strong and flexible and durable. It expands from the centre and trees find a firm foundation and root down and then they can grow and they can find stillness and space and move gently in the breeze. And as you breathe in and you reach through your arms, feel like that tree, root down and extend and grow tall and brave and be still and feel spacious. A few breaths here. Just like you're in your standing up tree, relax. Relax through the inner thigh, the inner knee on the right side. Root down through the left foot. Breathe well and allow yourself to soften into the earth. Breathing in, just visualise you're drawing the energy up from your roots through the ball of the foot, all the way up through the leg, up the spine, to the crown of the head. As you breathe out, it's a lovely downward flow of energy back into the earth. And a few more in your own time. So you start to feel balance between the earth and the sky and everything between. And then put your right foot on the mat. And very carefully shift your hips over to the right a little bit. Bring your arms down. And you can put your right foot on your left knee and just ease the right knee over to the left side for a twist. And release through the right arm, have a wiggle. So if this isn't right for you, sort of twist, whatever suits you really. It might be quite nice to come onto your side, take your palms together and open up like a rainbow. Do what feels right. Press the head into the mat, lift the chest up and have a wiggle. Have a little rock maybe. Get into that hip. And maybe put the left hand on the right knee. Gently ease it down. Breathe well. 
So you're lengthening your tail and making space in the low back. Lovely stretch to stimulate the kidney area, the kidney meridian. A few more breaths. Allow your shoulders to soften. Maybe you let go a little bit deeper. Well done. Gently unravel. Take a nice big stretch, big breath. Breathing in. Stretch it up. Have a wiggle. Draw in your left knee. Take the thigh, draw the knee towards the armpit and stretch the right leg away. Really beautifully active there. Keep lengthening out the hip. So th thighs drawing down towards the mat, the knees soft. Both feet are flexed. You might lift the leg up a little bit. A bit stronger stretch here. You work on strength a lot in today's practice. Strong like a tree. And then lower the leg, release the right arm and take a nice yummy stretch all the way through your right side. And place the foot down and very gently open up into your supine tree and ease that inner thigh in and out. Put your hands on your tummy and take a few breaths. Imagine you're standing up so the right leg's beautifully active and straight. Relax into the posture. So trees support us. We support trees. They release oxygen for us to breathe. Their leaves are like our lungs, they're their vascular system. And they take in light energy. And we both, us and the trees, we both start from small seeds. We both grow from small seeds and grow into all shapes and varieties, people and trees. So next time you breathe, they grow tall, reach up through your branches, keep the shoulders soft and breathe well. So breathing in energy, drawing in energy from the earth, all the way up to the crown of your head and breathing out, letting it go. Breathing in, drawing the energy up to the sky and letting it wash through you. And relax. Being grounded, feeling balanced, but the shoulders are soft here. Letting go. And the hips are relaxed. Take a couple more breaths. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out soft. Put the arms down very slowly. Put your foot on the mat, your left, and shift over to the left. Shift, shift, shift your hips over to the left this time. Put your left foot on your right knee, and maybe you can just ease it over there. Maybe you'll have a little rock and get into the hip. See what that feels like. And ease it over. And you might take your palms together. And then draw a big rainbow circle. Press the head into the mat and spread the shoulders up. You might like to still take your, your right hand down and ease that left knee down to get a lovely stretch through your back. And some of you, if this is too strong, we'll just take a little gentle twist there. Just know whatever you do is right for you. Everybody's different. We're all built differently. Our bones are different shapes, um, our muscles are different strengths, 
pretend there's a different length. What you're doing is right for you, for your unique body. Yoga is about what it feels like inside. Take a few more breaths. to the centre. So do what feels right for you now. It might be quite nice to take a few windshield wipers here. Mm. Massage the back. And then if you like you can just come out onto your mat or if you want to do a spinal roll and very welcome. And we get a little bit of momentum into it. That's it. Quite nice to give the back a little massage, come up to seated. So spark. Spinal mobility, spinal strength. The spine, like the trunk of your tree, you need to be strong and flexible. Let's come and do a few of the cat cows here. And your in breath, you know these, your out breath. Really make a firm foundation with your knees, your hands, and always moving from the tail up the spine to the crown of the hands. Maybe breathe a bit slower. Maybe move a bit slower. Mobilizing your spine. You might even shut your eyes if you know it well. Do a couple more like this. This one. One more. And then coming round the back. Imagine getting your forehead and your thighs. Tuck the tail under, rise up like scaredy cat. And breathe into the space of the heart at the back. Tuck the chin in. Such a lovely stretch for your back there. Keep the shoulders soft. So you can rise up a little bit more. A few deep breaths into the back body. And then very gently come back. And you might just rest in a little child like this. Remember that all children are different. Choose your child posture. So I quite like to take my knees apart and, and get my upper body down a little bit further. I might reach the arms out. Or you might just rest your head in your hands. Relax it. A nice easy breath. Letting go. Allowing yourself to soften. Feeling supported by the mat, breathing in between the shoulders and breathing out, releasing the low back. Breathing in between the shoulders, relaxing into the kidney area. Allowing yourself to soften. Come up slowly. So a little while ago, I was teaching something called neuromobility, spinal flossing. It was created by a spinal surgeon in, from Vancouver. So our, our spinal cord is um, quite mobile. It can glide. The spinal cord runs from the base of your skull to the top of your lumbar spine, about L1 or L2. And it can glide about one and a half centimetres. And this exercise helps us do that. It's very beneficial for 
a function of your nerves. It eases out the ligaments and muscles that run up and down the spine. And it's particularly good for freeing the sciatic nerve and releasing, relieving sciatica. So the, the um, spinal cord likes mobility. It's a little bit counterintuitive to what we normally do. It's a little bit of the opposite. Have a look if you haven't done it with me before, or you might have gotten it. So what you do is you breathe in and you look up and you take your sitting bones back towards your heels. This is the in breath. We're looking up and we're drawing the spinal cord back. And as you come forward, a bit like an up dog, you breathe out, you tuck the chin and you're drawing it, it's gliding all the way up. Spinal cord's gliding up. As you inhale, you draw it all the way back. Take your sitting bones back to your heels. And the exhale, we come forward and we draw it up. Inhale, it glides back. Just visualize it gliding and come into a beautiful, graceful movement here. So we're really working the opposite way to what we might do. The spinal cord gliding up through the vertebrae, through the vertebrae. Get a rhythm with your breath. Do three more. I'll make this next one the last one. Fabulous. Let's take a moment to rest your wrists and relax. You might want to make a little bit of an energetic bracelet there. Hmm. Great. So we talked about spinal mobility. Think about strength here. This is a nice strengthening one for your core and your legs. You will need to have a, a yoga brick or a thick book or something with you. You might need to pause the video to go and get something. And what I want you to do is put this brick between your thighs or between your knees, like that. Squeeze it tight. We're going to come onto our elbows in the reclining position. Keep the chest lifted. Lifting one leg. Like a reclining boat. Squeeze the knees and thighs together. Great. Keep the tummy nice and firm here. Stay relaxed. Lovely and strengthening for your legs. <laughs> Can you feel it? Squeeze them. So some of you will stay like that. Do have a rest when you need to. Some of you might come up. Nice firm tummy. So keep going. 
about something nice. <laughs> Can you take your hands off? Squeezing that blood. Do a couple more. You're doing brilliantly. Really good. Come down. It's like a feel that could do. <laughs> Let's just ease out the legs a moment. Oh, thank you, legs. One more time, if you haven't had enough, let's come up and hold it. Squeeze your block. And take the hands down. Oh, let's hold it for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Did you say thank you, legs? Give them a little bit of a massage. So I think we'll stretch our legs out after that strengthening. So make sure you've got room to lie down. Just think about which way to lie. Come in, come on your belly, come on your tummy. And stretch your right arm out so the palm is down. Stretch your right arm out so the palm is down. Let's just show you. I keep turning around. The palm is down. Okay. Great. There's never much room at home, is there? <laughs> and the shoulders down. Now I'm going to turn facing the left. So I've got the arm behind me. The palm is down, facing the left. Okay. I'm just trying to find room. I've got a roll of carpet there. <laughs> head on the floor. So you can have the head on the floor, or you might want to put. You might want to put it on a cushion or something. Okay. With the knees bent for now. All right. I'm going to take that top leg. I'm going to take it over. Take it over, it's a nice stretch for the shoulder. If this is too much for the shoulder, just release that back arm. Just, just take it, just take it like that if, it, if it's too much for the shoulder, all right? We've got the back leg over like that. I might straighten underneath leg. And I might be able to rotate that top arm. And come into a little sort of supine dance, uh, pull on the foot. I'm going to bend the underneath leg for stability doing. Stretching out the quadricep. That's like the dancer position, only lying down. Push the foot into the hand, roll the shoulder back. It's a lovely chest opening posture, lovely heart opening posture. Both shoulders are opening here. Breathe well. And relax your head. As it stay with the sensations, stay with the breath. Be present, don't let your mind wander. Maybe you can open up and make it a wee bit more juicier, but watch your low back. Two more breaths. And that's lovely. Come and lay on your tummy. Just do a little bit of a windshield wiper here. Ease it out. Well done. Come and lay the other side. So this left arm is going to come on the mat like that. Okay, the palm is down. You can't see my hand, the palm is down. I'm going to face away from you. Bend the knees. Okay, that's it. I might want to put a head on something. Or if the arm doesn't like it, just be like that, you see. Okay. Take the top leg over if it's right for you. 
You might straighten the underneath one. And you might be able to sweep the top arm round and hold the foot. Bend the underneath one if that's too much. Breathe well. And relax into the posture. And while you stay there with the breath, I'm just going to read you a, a little poem about trees. So I love this poem because uh, all the trees are in blossom now. It's called Loveliest of Trees by A.E. Houseman. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough and stands about the woodland ride wearing white for Easter tide. Now of my three score years and ten, twenty will not come again and take from seventy springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more and since to look at things in bloom Fifty springs, a little room. About the woodlands I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. Well, that is so beautiful. It reminds me of my own mortality, really, as well. <laughs> so a couple more breaths. If you want to just come on to your tum again, have a little rock and roll and ease it out. Take a moment to check how you feel, soften your shoulders, allow yourself to soften. Well done. You can come up onto our hands and knees, take a nice Big stretch back, have a wiggle. And we take down dog. Your first down dog, make it a good one. Have a little walk on the spot maybe. Walk in the dog, press down with your hands. See if you can lift your sit bones a little bit higher, stretch it out. We're stretching out the back of the legs now, after stretching out your front thighs, your quadriceps, well done. And I'm going to cut, lift the heels off, and if it's right for you, lift your right leg up. Draw the right knee in, and step it through. We move a little bit in this, just to ease out the legs, tuck the, tuck the toes and walk back a bit. This is the inhale, as you exhale, Come to the mountain and keep that knee a little bit bent if you need to. Look ahead. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling the mountain. And a little wiggle if you want to in the mountain. That's it. Breathe well. You might even curl the toes up if you want to make it a, a little bit juicier. So that nice stretch through the front thigh. Waking up our legs. And come down. Take the knee down. Allow yourself to settle. Get comfy. Lift up into Anjani Asana, the crescent moon posture. Some nice deep breaths into the space of the heart. Nice firm tummy. Just feel you've got this hand supporting you between the shoulders and you can look up if you like. Breathe well. Well done, come all the way down. Tuck the toes under, down dog. Let's take a couple of breaths here and stretch it out, whatever you like to do. 
Take a walk if you like. Easing it out. Have a wiggle. And then from here, because we're doing trees, we're going to have a plank, a plank of wood. So you come down into your plank. So you could hold that plank. If you want to take the knees down, that's fine. You might even come down onto your elbows. Choose which plank you want. Breathe well. Firm up your tummy. Draw your front hip bones in towards each other to support you. As it stay relaxed with the breath. Let's take a couple more slow breaths. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Well done. Come all the way down onto your tummy. Take your hands in front of your shoulders. We do three baby, five baby cobras. Inhaling. Come down. A nice big stretch through the back now and a wiggle. Have a little rock from side to side. Feel spacious. Come back onto hands and knees, tuck the toes under, ease it out, lengthen the neck. A couple of deep breaths here. See if you can draw your ribs to your thighs. Lift the heels up. Lift the left leg up. Draw the knee in. Step it through. So we're moving this again. If you need to take the foot out a little bit further, you can do that. Stay light. You need a couple of supports there, that's fine. Or to be up on the fingertips if you can't reach. Really getting into that right front thigh, making it nice and juicy there. And if you want to curl toes up, that might be good. Breathe well. Come down this time, get settled, take your hands on your thighs, firm up your tummy, roll the shoulders back, open up into your back bend, your crescent moon back bend. Maybe turn the pinky fingers towards the front because that's going to slide the shoulders down the back a little bit more. Some nice deep energising breaths here, breathing in energy, spreading that energy all the way through you to revitalise you, recharge you, get you ready for the rest of your day. Come forward, tuck the back toes under, come to a forward bend and gradually start to curl up to standing. Well done. So tree balance, tree balance here. Have a drink or anything you need. So root down through your right foot, make a good foundation. You can stand against the wall, you could be like this if it's a little bit of a, you want to go gently. Try not to take your foot by your knee joint. Ooh. And sometimes it's a wobbly day like I'm having at the moment, so no worries. Easy in the thigh and the knee out, firm up the tummy muscles. Just take your hand to your tummy and breathe well, soften the stand. Start to feel grounded, like you're growing roots. 
Let your tree draw in the energy up from the earth to the sky. And then grow tall. And you can find stillness. And steadiness. You might move a little bit in the breeze. You'd be spacious. Breathe well and know that when you work skillfully with a wobbly posture to make it steady and balanced, you can use those skills, you can start to bring those skills into your everyday life in difficult situations. Keep the tummy flat. Breathing in, drawing the energy up. Imagine breathing in from the soles of the feet, up your spine to the crown of your head. Breathing out that downward flow of energy, rooting you down. We can very lightly rest the left elbow on the, or the left wrist on the left thigh. Come over. Little side bend here. A little fig tree. Come all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a walk. Say thank you, legs, because it's it's quite strong on the legs, isn't it? Root down through your left foot, make a good foundation. Knees soft, draw up through the thigh, and then we're going to take your right foot. Ease the right knee and the thigh out so the hips are level. Take your hand to your tummy and breathe well. Make that steady foundation. And as you breathe in, draw in the energy up. And if it's a wobbly time, don't worry because some days are wobbly. We need to be like children really. Children play and they fall over and they laugh and they get back up again. Breathe well, focus on the breath. Be present. Just working to be steady in a wobbly posture, being skillful. And then maybe you can rest the right leg on the right side, you can do that, lift a little tree, a little bendy fig tree here. Breathe into the left lung, make space. Shoulder soft. So focus on something. Reach up to the sky. Bring your hands all the way to your heart. Come out gently. And come into a little posture here, which I'll call the dangle. Bend the knees and just hang. Let the spine just hang from the pelvis. Beautifully easy. Free and flowy, no effort. Have a wiggle. No effort at all. How are your legs? All right? Slowly curl up. Hopefully. Stand at the front of your mat. You're going to step your left leg back. Square the hips off. We're going to come into warrior one here. Warrior one. Breathe well. Slide the shoulders back. So it's like your crescent moon posture, isn't it? Same shape. And you can look up or look ahead, it doesn't matter. Let's straighten the front leg and see if we can make this a little bit more juicier. And all the time, feeling grounded, being aware where gravity is acting on the body. Put your hands on your hips. 
legs and straight the front leg and come forward with a lovely flat back. Take your hands in your hip creases. This is where we're moving from. I'm going to move in this. Come back to warrior one. Breathe in. This is the in breath. The out breath, you come forward. You can interlink the fingers behind your back. Hinge from the hips. So it's a bit like that mountain, isn't it? Inhaling. And exhaling. Just a lovely flow of the breath. That's it. Bend the knee as you come up. And be really steady with that back foot. Good foot alignment. Lovely strong legs. Rooting down. Little spinal extension here. And then moving from the hips, forward back. Do a couple more. Really spread your feet out, lift your arches. This time we're going to hold it. Keep the knees soft but draw up through the thumb. Five to eight breaths and you're very welcome if this gets too much to put your hands on your hips, to take your hands to the earth. Just fold your arms behind you. We're just working to shut the gap between our ribs and our thigh, our chest and our thigh, your chin towards your shin, your gaze is over your toes. And your arms act as a lever. As you come down, they release the hook. Breathe well. Couple more breaths. You come up, bend the knee. Come back to warrior one very carefully. Sweep your arms around and take your hands on your hips for steadiness. We're going to turn to face the back of your mat and try to end up still in warrior one. So turn the right foot towards the back. Left foot. Bend the left knee. So the hips are probably all skew with by now. Draw the right hip forward, left hip back. And maybe you want to step the left foot, left foot out a little bit more. Square the hips off. That's most important. And watch that knees over the ankle and you can see the big toe but maybe not the little toe and then lengthen make this lovely lovely back bend the shoulders slide down the back so once again you can draw the pinky fingers towards the back let's straight the leg and see if we can make this a a wee bit deeper breathe well into the space of the heart Use the breath to settle you into position. And when you relax, you can find you can lengthen a little bit more. A couple more breaths here. So we're always making little micro movements, aren't we? Take your left hand to your hip this time and open up the right arm. Open up into warrior two, beautifully strong. Give your arms a stretching from your heart center. Let's move in this. So when we're rooted down, when we've got that good foundation, we can flow. So we're gonna breathe in, draw the energy up. Take your hands to the back of your head and spread it around. Five, that's two. Breathe well. The breath always helps, doesn't it? It's the very essence of our practice. And meet me here beautifully strong. That's it, like you're going to push the walls away. Take a few breaths there. So we're strong, but we're gentle, we relax. We're strong, but we're soft. We get in that element of steer a circle. 
my strong legs, strong arms, but soft shoulders, strong in breath, strong out, soft out breath. Palms come up to the shoulders, ease the shoulders out. Oh, get into any of those icky bits. Does that feel like any other way? Angel wings. <laughs> and then open to a big breath of joy. Oh, give yourself a nice big hug. Oh, the Lord. Stretch between the shoulders after all those heart opening postures. And still keeping the hug, turn the feet to the center, reverse. So you're gonna right foot's facing forward, left heels in, warrior two legs and reach out, push the walls away. So we can move again with this. The in-breath brings this up, and exhale, see so if you can sink a little bit deep. And as you relax, you can lengthen, you can expand. Mm, breathe well. Nice, yummy stretches here. It feels so good to so stretch it out. And hold it there. Just feel grounded. See if you can sink a little bit lower. Good foot alignment. Relaxing down through strong legs. Turn the palms up. Angel wings, ease out the shoulders after all that hard work. And the other way. Well done. <laughs> Inhale, breath of joy. To give yourself a lovely big hug. Have a snuggle. Lengthen the back of the neck. Ease out any tension in the shoulders. And still keeping the hug turned to the front. And a big inhaling up. Bring the hands all the way to the heart. One more breath of joy because it's a gorgeous day. Take your hands to your hips. Come to a nice flat back. Keep the knees soft. And you might dangle, you might just want to let go. Let the spine hang from the pelvis and rock or whatever you like it. Just let gravity and the weight of your upper body lengthen your spine, ease it out after the strong stuff. If you're still up the strong stuff, you're very welcome. You can walk your hands through your legs and ease the head down in the direction of between the legs, between the hands. A little box shape with your elbows. Some of you might hook the big toes and look ahead. Bend the elbows and draw yourself even further forward. Soften the knees. Take your hands between your feet. Turn your toes out. Take your left ear towards your left instep and listen to the earth. Listen to the earth. Other way. Listen to the earth. Stretch it out. Listen to the earth on the left. Listen to the earth on the right. Sink a bit deeper. Well done. Hand each side of the right foot. A little bit of a lunge here. That's just going to take us onto the lane. We're going to come onto the earth, nice and carefully. <laughs> and come and roll onto your side. So facing me, rolling onto your right side. And take your left leg and put it there, okay? So this is um, Vishnu's couch. You make a mudra, 
and recline there on Vishnu's couch. If this is too much for you, no worries, just relax like this. Vishnu's couch. Take a few breaths there. We're going to feel a little stretch through the underside of the body. You may be feeling it already, or you might feel that you want to come up a little bit. Keep the shoulders relaxed and stretch it out. So we've got a nice stretch through the um, right ribs there. You can make the mudra. Breathe well. Take time to be aware of the sensations, what you're feeling here. Don't shut your eyes, feel the breath. Keep staying with the sensations, staying with the breath. Sometimes when we're still, our mind starts to wander. Try to stay with the posture. Take a look inside. A couple more breaths. So you're going to come down and you're going to come into a reclining tree. So you might put a pillow under your head. You might do that. There's a reclining rikasana here. You might come up a bit like that. Do what? Do what feels good for you, it really doesn't matter. And rest there with the breath. Relax. Stay with the breath, stay with any sensations. It's very easy when we start to do these laying down postures for the mind to go off somewhere else. and. Maybe thinking about what you're going to have for dinner lately or what you're doing tomorrow and that's fine. That's really good actually to know it's happening and bring it back. That can be a meditation in itself. <laughs> if it's right for you, you can stretch out that top leg. So this might be quite strong like that. I think it's easier probably easier um, you can do it like that on your elbow it might be easier lying down it, it doesn't really matter do what feels best you might want to start um, if it really is too much balancing just come and lay on your back and do it you know take a step if you need to remember we um we don't use the body to get into the pose. We use the pose to get into the body. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's about what you feel like. And your posture is going to look different from anybody else's. Your biography and your biology will dictate what you can do. Your body shape, strength of your muscles, how you're feeling on a particular day. And that's, that's all fine. Take a few breaths to really stretch it out after all that hard work. Feel you can relax the upper thigh, the front thigh. Ease the thigh away from your shin towards you. And smile. Keep the shoulders soft. Sometimes I like to be quiet, so you can just feel into the posture. So a couple more breaths. Release the legs, say thank you. So I'm going to come down, this one is called Tipsy Sphinx. Tipsy Sphinx, so it's sort of like Sphinx. <laughs> With that knee, the left knee's bent. So if this is too much for the hip or anything, just take a normal sphinx. 
Oh, you could lay in that. You could you could take the flapping fish, which is like that. Okay, whatever feels right. Gypsy Sphinx. Let's relax there. Take a few slow breaths. Let it go. If you want to take your, you know, if you want to come a little bit lower, that might be easier. You feel it's it's all right to feel a little bit of compression in the low back, as as long as it's not painful. You be very careful with your back. But this is a really lovely posture for this time of the year. We're stimulating the kidney, meridian, liver, and um, liver and kidney meridian run through the inner thigh, kidney meridian, and low, low back, stimulating those areas. And the kidney energy, the kidney is called the, the king of the organs. <laughs> The essence of life is said to be stored in our kidneys. The essence of life. We're said to have um, two essences of life. This is from the Taoist, the Chinese um, philosophy, two essences of life. We're given one before we're born, which is called before heaven. One after we're born, which is called after heaven. So the one before we're born, we use that up simply living and it can't be replaced. When that's finished, it's finito. <laughs> but the one after we're born, we, we use that up with living, with using energy. Um, we can use too much of it if we, <laughs> if, if we drink too much, if we take substances that aren't good for us. <laughs> If we do the wrong things, if we live badly, <laughs> we can use too much of it. If we live a good, healthy life, get plenty of sleep, eat the right things, exercise, we can, um, you know, increase this essence of life. <laughs> so it, it's up to you the way you live. But if you live a bad life, it's taken out of your store of life, the, the before heaven, and that can't be replaced. <laughs> so our essence of life, our yin, it's called the yin. The yin energy. A few more breaths. Well, just release it. Maybe do a little bit of windshield wipers, whatever you want to do there. Relax. Relax the low back, side to side. So we've got the other side to do. You can roll onto your other side. I'm just going to come to the other side of the mat because um, I need you to be able to see me. You can have a cushion or anything you like. So you're laying on your left side, take the right foot there. Okay, so remember, just rest there if that's enough for today. Fish in his couch. And relax. If you want to take stage two, you lift up and you get a nice stretch through the left side of the body. Make a mudra, index finger and thumb together. You can look at the mudra. Breathe well. I'll just stay quiet a moment so you can be aware of your body, you can be aware of the sensations. We'll stay with the breath. Relax. more breaths. So we can come down into this reclining tree which could be like this. It could come all the way down. Ooh, it could be like that. And relax. Now you're soft to soften. Taking a rest after all that hard work.
straight up. We draw the knee in and stretch out. You come up a little bit if that if that feels better and bend the underneath leg if, if that feels better. You can hold the higher up the leg of course, you can take a strap. And see if it feels any different this side. You want to find that edge, that nice edge. That sort of in between place called the Goldilocks position. Not too soft, not too strong, just in the middle, but slightly on the edge. So you might be able to go a bit deeper or you, you might back off. It. Stay relaxed. Feel that lovely release at the end of the out breath. Lovely letting go. A couple more breaths. Well done. Burn that knee. Say, say thank you. That was hard work. And remember, you can always rest like that if that's option one. And come into your your tipsy sphinx or you might want to do a normal sphinx and relax just think where do you feel this so it's all right to have a little bit of a compression in the low back but never going into pain i believe this comfort's all right stimulating the kidney area the liver and kidney in the inner groin inner thigh and this is a lovely poem I'm going to share with you. It's called Trees by Joyce Kilmer. Joyce Kilmer was a man. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet smelling breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Isn't that lovely? To take a couple more breaths. And come and relax down a moment and allow yourself to soften. Allow the earth to hold you. And let go into that support. So you can either stay like that and rest, or you might want to do a little windshield wipers. Whatever does it for you, basically. And feel the rebound of pose. It's always good to just take, you know, a few minutes, a few breaths after the pose, just to check in, to see what, what that does for you. Well done. So let's roll over onto your back. You might want to come up and get your warm stuff on. Because I'll have a little twist and happy baby and then shavasana. So... This one I did last time and I called it Eagle. Today I'm going to call it Twisted Root because we're thinking about trees. So your gentlest option is to just draw the knees in or keep the feet on the mat and come and take a gentle twist again like we did before. If that's better for your back, better for you. 
Otherwise, you might draw your knees into your chest and take your right knee over your left. You might be able to hook to making a twisted root. Put your feet down. You put your right foot on the mat, your left foot on the mat, and shift your hips over to the right here. So you can ease that left knee down, that, sorry, that right knee down, and we can take a rock maybe. Quite like that, just stretching out the hips. How does, how does that feel? Good. And it's rather nice again, like we did in the other twist, to lay on your side. Good. And you can do a big rainbow, you can open up, and you can press the shut head on the mat, and lift the shoulders up, and spread them out, and have a wiggle, and, and just get cosy and relax here. And allow yourself to soften. And breathe well. Shut your eyes, relax. Just feel you can really lengthen your tailbone towards your heels and your shoulders as soft. Try to be present. Like I said, as soon as we're laying down, our sort of our mind wanders off. It's different when you're in um, a balance. You have to think. Think to yourself, which postures is it easier to be present in? Yoga is really like a, a mini medita meditation, a, a mini practice in mindfulness. Couple more breaths. And unravel before you come to the centre. We we'll just do a little bit of a windshield wiper here or anything else you like to do to gently ease it out. It's a bit of release after that internal hip rotation with the twisted roots. One of your hips is externally rotated in the windshield wipers. Good. So just take a baby twist if this is enough on this side or shift your hips over to the left. Draw the knees in and take the left over the right. You may be able to bind into the twisted root. Put the right foot on the mat. Have a little bit more wiggle over to the left and guide the knees over to the right. And maybe take a little bit of a rock quite like that. Stretch through the side, do you? It's mm. quite juicy. And then come and lay on your side. And we can open up that top arm. Ooh. Press your head into the mat, lift the chest up. Spread the shoulders out. And have a little rock. And relax. And if your shoulder's not on the mat, if your knee's not on the mat, well, it doesn't matter what you look like. You might want to put you might want to put a padding or a cushion on it or whatever, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. Breathe well. Pull the knees in a bit. It's such a juicy stretch for your back, isn't it? Where do you feel this? And I'll be quiet for a little bit so you can tune into the sensations. You can tune into the breath. You might shut the eyes and relax. Take two more breaths. It's taking time to check how your back's feeling, how you're feeling. Unravel. Come to the centre of your mat. And anything else you want to do is cool. I think it's quite nice actually to take a happy baby. Draw the knees in, draw the back of the knees and rock, or the outer feet or the inner feet, it doesn't matter. You can rock, or you can just stay there. 
Try to ease your knees towards the side of the legs. That's it. Towards your armpits. Have a wiggle if you want. Happy baby, the bliss pose. It's a lovely way to finish your practice. Those with a stronger practice might straighten the legs and hold the toes and get your feet beside your ears. <laughs> One day. One day you might and then you can join the circus. Draw the knees in. Do anything else you need to do and get comfortable for your Shavasana. So this is the most important posture there is. To take time to settle. Take a few slow breaths and allow yourself to sink back into the support of your mat. And take your mind to your heart centre, to your chest and feel the movement of the breath here. The breath in the space of the heart. The rise of the in-breath. The release of the out breath. Those gentle pauses between your breath. No effort, your natural breath. Feel the breath creating softness, relaxation, space. Space in your heart. Think of one really positive and special quality about you, about yourself. Something really special about you. There's great goodness in all of us. We often, often overlook or underestimate our own beauty, reflect on yours. Imagine that positive quality as a small seed and visualise planting that tiny seed in your heart centre, in all that space you've made. Keep it safe, nourish it, let it grow strong and keep it with you. Growing strong and steady and constant, just like that beautiful tree, a tree of your choice.
So now it's time to finish this practice of Shavasana. So be aware of your physical presence. Your body resting on the mat. Your whole body and the space around you. The space you're taking. The felt sense of you. And visualise your surroundings. Take a few slow deep breaths. Gradually take your awareness to your feet, make some small movements in your feet and stretch out your legs and make some small movements in your hands and fingers and stretch through your arms. Just take your head gently from side to side. A big yawn or full body stretch or whatever you need. very slowly come onto your side. Put your hand down, feel the arm and help yourself up to seat. Your nice big in breath, this is the prana mudra, that means energy. Gather all the energy up. Crown, brow, throat, heart and keep it with you because you might need it later in the week. Namaste. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel, Jules Yoga. I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed. Also on my website, www.extayoga.org. Thank you.